All right, welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody um, on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there uh, for some Mardu Aristocrats. BMBK, thank you so much for that tier one sub. You are a rock star. Thank you so much. So this is a deck that didn't ever quite get there um, in our previous format. You know, a lot of people were excited whenever we had Priest of Forgotten Gods and um, Judith the Scourge Diva and everything. It didn't quite get there. And the reason why is we didn't have good enough two drops. You could play like Tithe Taker. Um, and then there was the other, uh, oh, now I forget about it. There was the other one, uh, white black two drop that allowed you to sacrifice stuff that was very similar to Cartel Aristocrat. But they just weren't good enough. But now with War of the Spark, we have Cruel Celebrant and Dread Horde Butcher, with our, which are just two awesome, awesome two drops. And that we already had like, you know, decent enough one drops. We already had good three drops. But now adding in two just rock star two drops into the mix is awesome. So. Uh, those are really good. And then the other thing that War of the Spark brought us is an, as a just a perfect Planeswalker at the top end, Soren Vengeful Bloodlord. This is a card that I was... I, I liked it in the, the set review that we did, but I didn't realize how good this card was. Um, I really underrated the minus X ability whenever um, I was doing the set review. And yeah, giving, giving all your creatures lifelink is just critical against other aggro decks. Because other like aggro decks is really really where this deck struggled against, um, and now you know getting a bunch of life link that really helps. Um, so yeah, that uh, that's a really big addition. We have Oath of Kai against other aggro decks also, um, getting a bunch of life gain and direct damage as well. My sideboard is is just kind of a mess right now. Um, to basically, just trying out different things. We have a second of Johnny in here. We have a Chandra. Um, which, you know, against Control, we have a, a second of Johnny, a Chandra, and an Angrath. It's kind of a mess. Um, basically just kind of trying out some different things, see what we like. We have a Lyra against Aggro, a Settle against uh, bigger creature decks. Um, I'm not sold on these Daredevils in the sideboard either, but I, I do like... I basically have Daredevils in here against Thought Erasure decks uh, to, to play a, a longer, grindier game. I do like how we can bring back Daredevils with a Johnny or Soren. Um, just for some reliability there. Um, yeah, we're, we may be switching up our sideboard a little bit, but this is what we're going with. New Gideon, so I don't have a lot of white sources in the deck, and I was kind of worried with New Gideon of, like, trying to cast it on turn three, basically. And so I, that's why I don't have New Gideon, is I'm worried about the white sources. Um, I've... I played this deck for just like a match earlier, and and white sources were a little hard to come by. Uh, Tibalt was another option that I was considering. You know, not letting my opponents gain life, but I think the other planeswalkers are better. All right, well, let's go ahead and play over in the ranked part with this deck. Uh, I think this deck's quite strong, so let's let's just kind of go on over to Mythic and play some play some games. We got to Mythic yesterday, so. If Gideon was easier to cast, he'd be in here. Um, but we are, we're not a, we're like a splash white deck, not a heavy white deck. Oh, missed a subscriber while I was gone? Yeah, to say storm count nine. Yeah. Yeah. Hands don't look great. Let's see, who do we miss? Movie Star. Thanks, Movie Star. We're gonna redo that one. There we go. Putting Movie Stars back up there since I missed it earlier. Thank you. Spawn of Mayhem is an option too. That that's a yeah, that's that's a pretty decent card. I don't really know if Spawn of Mayhem would be necessarily better than other of the top end cards, but it's definitely one that I was thinking about. So y'all can see with the, the white sources here, it's 
White's a little tough. I'm not even sure if we need... Maybe we shouldn't be playing a Johnny. Like, maybe we shouldn't have any double white at all. Like, I, I have this one singular Johnny in here, in the main deck, that is. So, bad news is everything's dead. Good news is they only have three cards left, now four. This looks like a Drake deck, could be Phoenix. Oh yeah, Soren's definitely better than Johnny. We have three Sorens and one a Johnny. Soren's definitely better, but I think that the first a Johnny is better than the fourth Soren. I hope it's not Phoenix. Do not fear, my friend. Back on your feet. Well, the Citadel is just really hard to cast, you know, six mana. Really? It is Phoenix? Boo. I was not strong enough. Ooh. Interesting. I should have tapped one of the white sources, but no. Well. I have come for vengeance and blood. Vampirism is a useful trait. Yeah, I didn't attack. I didn't attack for one. I, I guess I could have. You know, obviously I missed a point of damage by not attacking, but we could have also just gotten like a Dreadhorde Butcher, which Dreadhorde Butcher would have been. A, Really important to get that attack in with with the butcher, but I did I did give up the one point for uh, for that. Yeah, my deck lists are on Stream Decker, streamdecker dot com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Second one there. Do not provoke me. Wow. We can't draw any creatures. We need just to draw any creature here. Yeah, we flooded out for sure. I am familiar with pain. Definitely would have preferred a creature than a lightning strike. The problem with playing yeah, we're playing 24 lands. The problem with playing, like, 22, 23... Like, 23 is what I was... I was trying 23, but with 23, you get stuck on 2 and 3 lands just a, a lot. And we are a three-color deck that has difficult mana requirements, and it's it's kind of hard. Like, you, you kind of need an extra land because of the three different colors. And we, we always want to hit four lands... For Soren, like you don't want to get stuck without like the four lands.
We do not need Bantu at all. This is not a Bantu deck. I have no desire to put Bantu in this deck. Yeah, Sahili is a little out of place, but it did its thing. Like, Sahili has a lot of loyalty for Bio Essence Hydra, which is great. So Daredevil getting Lava Coil is clutch. This is, this matchup in particular is a big strike against playing Lightning Strike and not having Lava Coil. We'd much rather have Lava Coil. Um, what's a Bantu deck? That'd be a deck that utilizes Bantu well. Hmm. That wants to put it in in the in the main deck. So we drew basically all Priests of Forgotten Gods and lands. That didn't work out. I'm going to take out Lightning Strike. Um, doesn't kill a whole lot. And I want to be very creature heavy. Alright, going down to six again. Got it. Just going with our four lander again. The other option of not being creature heavy is getting rid of the priest, uh, is boarding out the priests of forgotten gods and going with like duresses instead. But I basically want all of their like they're going to have a, a good amount of removal, like they just are. And if like we get rid of priests, like priests is not necessarily very good against a lot of removal, but if we get rid of priests, then it makes just their removal spells. Even better because we have less creatures, kind of thing. All right, hopefully we we'll draw one of our planeswalkers or midnight reaper or dreadhorde butcher or another land. I don't think we're winning with <laughs> seven lands and ten cards against basically anything. It's not the best variance for us. Priest of Forgotten Gods is miles, miles better than Remodi Reveler. <clears throat> sure, when you have all lands and you don't have anything else, then you can say, wow, Remodi Reveler would be better. But that's 
the things that that Priest of Forgotten Gods does in this deck is amazing. All right, let's see if we can get a, a little bit better. Let's see if we can keep a seven. We can keep the seven. So we need a red source. No, it's it's my internet service provider. I can't I can't fix the lag situation. Yeah, if we draw nothing but lands, like we have been, we'll be alright. If we don't draw a land in our first two draw steps, though, we're dead. Are we dead? We're not... maybe not dead. Hmm. BMB says to keep. I would definitely keep this on the draw. It's being on the play... It's kind of rough. I guess we'll we'll keep it. We'll we'll at least lose one where we'll see if we lose one where we just don't draw any lands. I'm tired of mulliganing and having keeping a four lander and then destroying all lands after that. We'll at least lose one a different way. Bant stuff. We're doing it. We are doing it. Soren Strife makes monsters of us all. So we just get to minus one, bring back this footlight fiend. Embrace the bloodlust. That basically means our opponent can't attack anymore. Or never mind, I guess they can still attack. Have a bunch of lifelink for this next turn with I think they're dead. Demand servitude. Looks like they're dead. All right, so they just had two lands. Made our life a lot easier. Them just having the the two lands there. I don't know if we really need to board anything in. We didn't see anything there that I'm necessarily too scared of, but. Obviously, they didn't get to play like most of their deck, so this is this is probably like a Prime Speaker Vandifar deck if they're playing 
if they're playing Militia Bugler, they're probably playing Vanifar, which then means if they're playing Vanifar, they're going to have things like Tulsimer and Lyra Dawnbringer and stuff like that. Now, they don't really have spells for Dire Fleet. I think the cards I could add... I'm not adding anything. Cards I could add would be, like, Settle, Lyra. Nah, our deck's good. Butcher is a rare. Priest is a lot better than Hero Precinct 1. Y'all are just sleeping on Priest. Priest is amazing. That card is awesome. Dang, I was hoping we would draw Priest here, because this Priest would... Just destroy our opponent's deck. Our opponent doesn't, like, have any chance of beating Priest, I don't think. I guess they could could have, like, I guess Deputy, and if I don't find a Lightning Strike, maybe? Alright, let's draw another land so we can get this Priest going. Come on, deck. You can get us a land. Come on, deck. We already scried a spell to the bottom. Ugh. <sighs> no luck. Mana has not been so good these two matches. Last game it was great. You know, we had like the four lands. Um, it was perfect then. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. There is wonder in a blade of grass. All right, here we go. Time to get started. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? No, haven't considered makeshift munitions. If you want to sacrifice effect. Then Pitiless Pontiff is the way to go. Fight like a city brat. All right, so we'll see if we can. Uh... Okay, that's a start. That's a start. I think Pillas Pontiff's worse than all the other two drops. And there's just not really room for it. I'm gonna sit back.
No, I cannot activate. Priest does target. We just get to get the Shalai off the battlefield, though. Alright, never mind. Alright, let's see if we can get some land drops this time. I am glad we did not bring in the settle. Certainly glad there. <laughs> the Tristani dive down. Uh, can we just get something like between? Can we just get like, you know, two through four lands? Alright, three lands where we can't cast anything? Cool. <laughs> Uh. We did say we wanted land before. I guess should have been uh, more specific. I'm playing 24 lands because I don't want this to happen. Uh, but I guess we had six lands that other time. All right, let's get started. Needed a mass deck? Nah. <laughs> Let's tear this place apart. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Why do you want to tear so much stuff? Ah! I'm a survivor. I was certainly hoping to get red mana where I could like throw out the butcher, get some haste. Uh, you know, grow the br grow the butcher. All right, no Shalai. That's good. Have you ever lost a home? Vivian's so annoying. Vivian makes this so much harder. It needs to be. We got some more lands. Now we can start double spelling easier. And we weren't going to have anything to do with that double black mana. For the fallen. Yeah, this this Vivian instant speed is killing us.
I guess I needed to just lightning strike that deputy. I was expecting them to play the branch walker at end step. They did not. Do they just have like dive down? Let me show you what was lost. Linda. I don't really need a Linda. All right, so let's kill this thing. Kill this thing. So they do have something that gives their thing sex proof. Yeah, Vivian has certainly made their deck. I, I was not, after the first game, I was not concerned about winning this at all. I thought we were going to be just fine. But Vivian games two away. and three has just been incredible. Yeah, that's, so yeah, I thought they had some kind of trick of like a dive down. I, you know, I just didn't think about that card. That was not a card that was on my radar. Oh, definitely enjoying war so far. Yeah, absolutely. Getting started. Every defeat is a new beginning. There. So looks like we are 0-2 to start with. Are we... So we've just won the one game so far. I think that was the one time we kept a 7-card hand, right? Pretty sure it was. See if we can get somewhere between like having four or five lands and you know like seven like maybe like 
first 12 cards be like 7 spells, 5 lands. That would be nice. Something where it's not no lands or all lands. Alright, I'll take it. 4 lands, 3 spells. We'll take it. Bunch of shock lands, but can't, can't complain with how the hands have been that we've been looking at. No, I just do best of three. Core X. Looks to be Grix's control. And I think I like just getting the one point of damage in with the priest instead of holding up priest activation. There we go. A non shock land. You should be prop. You are capable of more than you assume. Alright, so against the control deck, we can take out Priest of Forgotten Gods. That can come on out. If we take that out, what am I bringing in? So we got the Johnny, Dire Fleet, Chandra, Angrath. All these duresses. That is too many cards, of course. Hmm. Yeah, Cry of the Carnarium could be rough. I think I want one Judith and these Footlight Fiends out of here. So is it worth it to play these Ajani's? I mean, I guess so. Yeah, we could cut Strike also. I kind of envision my opponent just playing like Thieves Sanity. Kind of every single blue-black deck just likes playing Thief of Sanity. Strike's good there. Would we rather have Footlight Fiend than Lightning Strike? i just keep the Lightning Strikes. Strike can pair up with stuff to, kill, to take down Nicol Bolas. Can kill Thief. Can kill Daredevil. Our opponent plays Daredevil. Can pair up with other things, take down Rekindling Phoenix. Can do stuff. So Lightning Strike just kinda does. It just it just does something. What that something is is unclear. But it'll do something. I think I really need a Daredevil right now. That was a clutch duress getting rid of that commence the end game. So would I rather have Soren or a Johnny bring back bring this card back? Soren Soren or a Johnny? Think a Johnny. 
I understand. Because if Johnny gets to take up and put another fight. counter on the Dreadhorde Butcher. And Soren can bring back, you know, three drops and stuff like that. <laughs> You'd be so mad if you were the opponent with, with us duressing this commence the end game. Your lightning strike would do something. So this is going to keep them from gaining two life. So it's basically turns my lightning strike into dealing four. And keeps this dreadhorde butcher in the graveyard for us. So we can get it back next turn. I hope you find your path. Yeah, we could have just a, a Johnny minus the that last turn, but now we got a Soren minus. Soren Markov, Lord of Innistrad. Hey, Soren Markov, Lord of Innistrad. Body, not your soul. Oh yeah, getting back Butcher with the Johnny, it is sweet. Agrabulus. Regular bolus. Mortality suits me well. May death suffer for your cause. Hmm. So whenever this deals damage to the Planeswalker, we still put a counter on this. Let's... Um... Alright, let's just go Soren, the one damage over here. You should fear those born of darkness. Another time, Planeswalker. <laughs> Did Soren say, whoops, that wasn't me? I hope so. I hope Soren was like, whoops, that wasn't me. Yeah, I mean, Nicobolus came down and... Killed Soren, so Soren coming down and killing Nicobolus. All fair. Dang. I was hoping they were going to do Soren and not. Our two drop finally died. I abhor my need for blood. As Kant is a good card. Let's see if we defeat it. Stop. How many contempts is this? That's their third contempt. Ugh. At least they let me do another point of damage here. <laughs> Time for a yeah, Argobolus does its job. It's not a bad card. Yeah, I'd like to get to 8 mana and have Daredevil commence. That would be sweet. I 
No, if I if I play direfully Daredevil, they just get to scatter the Daredevil. Now I want to draw a land and be able to get that Chemistry's Insight. Which they just cast it in response, though. And if I if I try Daredevil counter, it's like they just don't cast their contempt, basically. So this gets scattered. Did that right? Oh, I can wait millennia for. I was hoping that they were gonna just let, just scatter this and uh, let me minus and get it back. Uh, free. We're gonna go with free. Free with the tier one sub. Or free Elkef. Reading words is difficult. Uh, it's all laggy. I can't get my high boats. There we go. No, come on. Come on, internet. There we go. Is that the tenth sub of the day? That is. That is sub number ten of the day. We got to the next sub goal here. All of the multiverse will bend to my will. Your defiance is in fury. Witness a moat of my power. All right, so these lightning strikes have not done anything. So now we've seen more of our opponent's deck. So we know we know they are not like a Thieva Sandy deck. They are really hard control. Let's get those things out of here. And I want the Judith back, and I just want these Footlight Fiends. I think I want just the the creatures to be able to play. They can deal the damage over time. The strikes were not doing anything. We were not beating the Ascanta. And the chemistry's insights at that point. That's another sub goal, so we're gonna I'm gonna put this on the counter for our sub battle days. So I'm playing the I'm playing the 24 lands because of the three colors. You know, it's it's kind of difficult with the three color deck to play 23 lands because of this kind of stuff. I don't. Yeah, I just have to mulligan that. Ooh. Grab a Midnight Reaper. Midnight Reaper is a good one. So, really hoping for no Cry of the Carnarium. Good news is Dreadhorde Butcher will be bigger than Cry of the Carnarium. That's good news.
think Midnight Reaper is more important for us than Judith. So I'm going with the Judith first. All right, no more lands. Take five. Five's a lot. Because they gave it they gave it plus three, minus three, so whenever it died it had plus three power, so it had five power when it died. They kept that card on top really quickly. Really hope that card on top's not Cry of the Carnarium. Please, no Cry of the Carnarium. Okay, it's just the fourth land. We can deal with that. So now only Exile Removal is good, but we saw them play a ton of Rastus Contempts previously. If we draw a land here, we... Well, never mind, we don't win if we draw a land, but we just win anyway. Good game. All right, we got there. Now we're starting to turn it back around. One and two. The O2 bracket, we're turning it around now. I gotta get this. Band Super Friends up on YouTube. I just need to just need to get the thumbnail. There we go. Um, upload thumbnail. And there we go. All right, it is now up on YouTube. Want to try if it helps with the lag you can try turning off low latency mode in dashboard channel settings what does is that supposed to help turning off low latency mode or latency or however you pronounce that word Do you have any ideas for a Soren plus Bells and Lock deck? Like besides those two cards? Latency. Soren gives Bells and Lock life links, you can basically draw your entire deck. I, mean, I guess you'd want a whole lot of things that cost four or more, right? With Bells and Lock, you need things that cost four or more. So I'm going to sit back with this priest. If they have exile removal spells like Contempt or whatever, I'm going to be able to sacrifice and draw some cards.
right, let's just draw some more cards. Um... Do they have land cry the carnarium? In this thought collapse deck. Oh, I I didn't leave up double white for a Johnny there by accident. Ugh. I don't. What do you? What do I think about Tamio in a Persis, Persis Petitioner's deck? Uh, I don't. I don't believe Tamio is good enough to make a Persistent Petitioner's deck very good. Um, all right, so Duress replaces Lightning Strike, and then Priest comes on out for a Johnny, Chandra, Angrath, and a Daredevil, and then we have this one extra Daredevil that comes in for the Judith. Yeah. Yeah, Band Super Friends is uploaded to the YouTube channel. Low la latency mode means Twitch will do the best to keep the stream as real time as possible. So if you deactivate it, then you won't have as much. Then uh, we won't have as much lag, but we will have a great delay between communications. This is a okay. So we'll just keep it. We'll just keep it here. Because it's just like that lag thing just happens a couple of times, but not not super often. So this is kind of a difficult decision. I definitely want to be hitting them with Butcher on turn two. So if we go Gutter Bones or Duress, I'm gonna go with the Duress to try to help out this Butcher. It's a weird deck that we're playing against. I want to try to get Butcher out of Moment of Craving and Cry the Carnarium range as fast as possible. They're just not. Is Spark Harvest an instant? Sure that's a sorcery. Yeah, it's a sorcery. So I guess they're holding up counter magic. Armies march Destroy target and creature and then I draw two. If one can learn much from death. <laughs> Suffer the dreams of the dead. Try not to think too hard. Dang, even with the flood out. Thankfully, we got that draw two. Your vic <laughs> the way of knowledge is death. Omnixus has a lot of voice lines. Hey, awesome, Amnesiac. You're going with the new Grixis control list that we're going to play later on, your 5 0 today? That's awesome. Cool. We trying that one out later. All right, two and two. We are making our way back down. Making our way back. Making our way downtown. There we go. Making our way downtown. Walking fast. Picking up all those wins. No, I don't think there's any sort of matchmaking with debt strength. I think you just play against people close to your rank. Uh, if you're doing ranked, that is. See, we're at 96%. They're at 96%. 
Come on. There you go. Hello. Attack. We would like to draw a Planeswalker or a three drop. Any card that costs three or four mana is what I would like to draw. Any card that costs three or four mana. Question, I have your Mardu Angels list in paper. What changes would you make with War of the Spark? I would definitely add in, um, definitely add in Gideon somewhere. Gideon may just be sideboard. Or it's main deck. If we want like basically, you know, maybe like 11, three mana cards. Having history, Gideon, and Resplendent Angel. Taking a little bit of damage. Yeah, they didn't want this Vrass's Contempt. They must have another Vrass's Contempt in hand. Wow. Are they dead? dead. Alright, so if I go three upstairs, that puts them down to eight. This thing deals five, six. So we're two away. Let me throw this upstairs, see if we draw anything that deals two. Uh, not quite. This was fi Fanatical Firebrand. Fanatical Firebrand would be lethal there. All right. Yeah, we're yeah. I put together a different Grixis control deck for today. Gonna you know try out a different strategy than the disinformation campaign ritual of soot build. All right, so just same sideboarding we've been doing. Grixis is blue, black, and red. Alright, where are... Alright, on the draw. And if we would draw a couple lands, duress into Dreadhorde Butcher, into Judith, into Soren, <laughs> with Celebrant and Direfleet also, I kind of want to keep this. Uh, yuck. Not yuck. Yes, yeah, so Othakai is for the other aggro matchups, especially Mono Red, which Mono Red um, is a tough matchup for this deck. And I think it's worth having the Oath of Kaya's for. The the legendary thing doesn't matter at all. It's just it's just three mana, deal three damage to something and you gain three life. It doesn't matter that it's an enchantment that stays around and is legendary and everything like that.
Stop drawing lands. I could have maybe just got rid of a land on the draw. Maybe I could have done that. Maybe I could have just taken out a land on the draw. Spells. That's a spell. It's just a three mana two two. Isn't too strong. Still have three cards left. Attack. Sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what we're going to do here about this Nicol Bolas. It's one thing with playing, with playing Lightning Strikes. We don't get to kill the 4-4. It's definitely possible I should just be playing Lava Coil's main deck instead of Lightning Strikes. So we said, like, you know, against Drake's and Nicol Bolas's. Tough. What do y'all think? Do y'all think I should be playing Lava Coil main deck? But then it, there's just like, you know, sometimes that, you know, like our lightning strikes, like that game one, lightning strike going upstairs helped out. Well, I guess if I would have been able to coil their, their bolus, the game one, it would have been better. Yeah, you can play Ionize over. Yeah, if, if you like the damage in your. Grixis a mass deck. Ionizes. Um, it's a valuable card. And yeah, it's a lot easier to cast than Sabotage. I wish I didn't have to. I want to leave that Carnival Carnage in there. I wish it wasn't a must. So they, they've drawn a removal spell. Like they've had to if they're just sitting there for so long. Too many lands over here. Sweet. My heart is hollow with scorn for you. Vampirism is a useful trait. So we had good use for those extra lands.
want Soren to die. The weak feed the strong. So I could have attacked into Bolas, they block, I minus two the Soren, get back the Daredevil, and then Carnage. Um all will bow before Nicole Bolas. Carnage them, but Oh, please minus and kill the Daredevil. Then Your existence is pointless. So they're gonna minus and kill the Daredevil. A little dramatic. Fanatical Firebrand again would have just been miles better than Footlight Fiend right there. Fanatical Firebrand would have been able to kill the Bolas. The gods once. I am one again. I will return. Hmm. You want to play with fire, huh? This is just going to be bad for you. I don't think it gains the passive ability, right? Pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, it just has the loyalty ability. So I, I played the Chandra first to see if we hit like uh, the Celebrant, for example. Bloodline from existence. Yeah, yeah, that was a really long no for just coming back five seconds later. <laughs> A lot of damage. Chandra's pretty sweet. Dealing all that damage there. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Dang. Didn't draw anything to play, but even if we did, like, they had the sabotage, but... I will remake the multiverse in my image. We're done here. I am Death's master. Okay. Alright, Judith's a good draw. This is a tough choice. So I can kill I can kill Nicol Bolas, or I can deal one to them and kill other Nicol Bolas. I can I can kill Dragon God and deal one to them, or I can just kill Ravager. Um It's kinda tough. I think I kill this Bolas. I have other plans. Because I think it's I think it's kind of likely they have another Ravager in hand, or like 
I don't want them to just draw lots of cards and be able to get out of this. You know, I don't want them drawing the extra cards. Like, I think we can beat this Ravager. Or, like, they, they could just have another Ravager in hand. Oh, I should have stunned the two upstairs. Yeah, I think the Dragon God matters here. I mean, I think how they win... Like, I was thinking how they would win would be being able to draw enough cards to um, get out of it. Yeah, that's Sinister Sabotage. I guess I should have done both damage upstairs. Put them down to two. Ugh, close game. Close game. Didn't quite get there. They didn't quite get there. <laughs> that bullet sound, though. All right, two and three. That was at least a, a, you know, a lot better game than our first two games. You know, even though sure we ended up with like nine lands or whatever, it was a much more. Enjoyable game. We have flooded a lot of games, except for the other games where we have just had one landers and had to mulligan a bunch and then flood out. Yeah, I think this deck's really good. I don't... Yes, we, like, we haven't done... You know, we're two and three in these in these games, but we've also... Had some bad variants, and my sideboard is not perfect at all. My sideboard is... You know, very... Very untuned, and that's... You know, that's probably not helping us. Um, the four toughness creatures... Have been a have been a problem. And it's it's certainly looking like I should be playing Lava Coil instead of Lightning Strike even with like just in general in the main deck. I don't have any desire to play Remodi Reveler over any cards that are in my deck. You know, it's certainly possible I don't need all these Oath of Kaya's. Lyra, Settle, like these cards could just be not very good. That last game, Daredevil wasn't, those last couple games, Daredevil wasn't really that good for us. It's possible I should have some more of these like four mana Planeswalkers for control. Like there's, my deck's not, my list is not perfect. Cast down instead of coil. I do like coil exiling, like Phoenix and stuff. And cast down would not kill Nicol Bolas. Do I want priest? If I don't want priest, what what would I want? Angrath settle. And Daredevil.
we could probably play a couple Mortifies in the main deck. Also, I, like, I'm not playing any Mortifies at all. That's something we could probably have. Priest shines against creatures. <clears throat> like, priests is our... Priest is our card we need to for, like, to beat, like, a Soul Tie, for example. Like, to beat Wild Growth Walker, we need Priest. Kind of thing. Hey, Mukton. Go, butcher, go. No, I, I haven't really considered Spark Harvest. I don't, I don't like that card. There's, I think there's a lot better options than it. No, Priest is not a cyborg card. You either have it or you don't. Um... We gotta kill this thing. If the metagame does turn into a whole lot of removal heavy decks, like a lot of control, um, if there's just like a lot of aggro and a lot of control and not really like the green creature midrange decks, then yeah, taking out Priest for other two drops for Remodi or Tithe Taker. Um, I kind of like Tithe Taker myself. For like tight, yeah, especially in that kind of meta game, yeah. So taking those out for like tight takers could could be the thing to do. Wow. I'll taste your neck. You taste my blade. This Dreadhorde Butcher is awesome. We've been doing a lot better when we've been drawing Dreadhorde Butchers than when we've not been drawing Dreadhorde Butchers. I wish you all short lives. So they should just be dead. You know, they shock the butcher, that deals two to them, and then we can just daredevil. Just okay. Well, let's. They'll finish it off. Daredevil, wizard's lightning. Cause then I realized that actually, wait, we needed another land for another three damage. We made good work of red. Mardu Aristocrats last format could not handle red at all. The help of Oath of Kaya and Dreadhorde Butcher really helped our red matchup. I don't I don't feel like we even need Lyra Dawnbringer. I guess Lyra Dawnbringer is more for Mono White though. Yeah, Lyra Dawnbringer would be more for Mono White. Get rid of Settle. We'll play a couple. Maybe we play a couple of Deafening Clarions against Mono White, and it's really good against Mono Red too. Maybe play a Mortify. It would cost one colorless if skewer was spectacle enabled. You could play it for a colorless. Or a generic, I guess. It'd be one one generic mana. All 
Alright, let's try playing one Mortify main, three coils instead of those strikes. And switching the sideboard up just a little bit. Taking out the Lyra and an Oath of Kaya for two Deafening Clarions and something else for a Mortify. Oh, the Settle for a second Mortify. Yeah, we could play to Spark. It's, that's definitely good against Grixis. All right, I'm in there over the Mortify in the sideboard. We just don't go Daredevil. Experimental Frenzy is another card we could be playing in our sideboard. It's not as good against Esper because of Mortify. I don't need Angrath. Does this sideboard look better? I don't want to remodi instead of priest. I don't I don't want remodi. Don't like frenzy. Theater of Horrors is a much worse experimental frenzy. That doesn't mean the frenzy's bad because we have three and four mana cards. To Bolt's an option, yeah. No, Chandra and Frenzy actually just worked well together. Because like when you hit, if you have Frenzy in play and, and a Chandra in play, when you hit like that extra land, you can tick up your Chandra and exile it and keep going, kind of thing. Frenzy against uh, Grixis decks, um, any control deck, any removal heavy deck. Basically, just playing Frenzy instead of Daredevil. I think the matchup I'd be concerned the most with is like mono white. We have just been, uh, we have been losing to a couple control decks here of like, you know, flooding out and everything. And I'm gonna try this. I'll try this for a game. Two Chandra, two Frenzy, two Dispark. I don't know about this Dispark. Just like. Like, would I want to play Dispark against Esper? It's just like two mana only, get rid of Teferi and nothing else? Like, I don't think so. I guess I want this against Wilderness Reclamation. And Grixis. And I guess Angel decks. Alright. So I guess I want it against Lyra Dawnbringer, Wilderness Reclamation. No, I don't. I don't want Massacre Girl. Five's a lot of mana. Four is a, about all I want to go. I think the only, the only five drop that I could see maybe playing is the Angrath. Um, I guess. I mean, I had Lyra Dawnbringer in here too. That's a five drop, for a little bit. Can we draw a third land? I 
If this is another Nicobolas deck, Coil's going to be better than Lightning Strike. If it's Esper, then Lightning Strike would have been better. So it's... We'll kind of see what it is. I do like how Dreadhorde Butcher is out of Cry of the Carnarium range right away. This Butcher is so good. Menace and Hexproof. Sure. Hmm. I should have kept that land in hand in case of a bolus here. This is a Grixis deck. Yeah, I should have kept that land in hand. So Soren can, can bring back Judith. No, this is Grixis. We've played against this deck. Played against it twice yesterday. I don't know. Maybe I mean, maybe this is just Demir. I mean, it's just all these cards were in a Grixis deck that we played against yesterday. I guess is what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, this could certainly be a different deck. We just saw all those cards in a Grixis deck yesterday. Uh, twice. <clears throat> Alright, so Frenzy is really good against blue-black. That's what I want it for. And... I want Chandra also. Eight four drops is really not too many four drops. I don't think eight is too many four drops. This means we're just gonna have the good spells on top, right? We got we got a turn one play, turn two play. That was not what I was counting as a good spell. No. All right. Hopefully, hopefully they have like the triple thought raiser hand, like we just played against. Wow. So, it, if if I knew we were drawing, the first two cards would would be lands, easy mulligan. Hoping they're going to be spells. I feel like that's kind of a win for us. The Light Fiend for Moment of Craving. Instead of something better for Moment of Craving. A little impatient there of just taking one damage. 
but we don't know if they, you know, they can just have, like, tons of removal in hand. So, yep, it is the Grixis deck. Same one we played against twice yesterday. All these cards were in it. Alright, they milled over two lands for us, which is good. Um, that's good. We're not out of this. We need our, our four mana cards, like a Frenzy. Frenzy can do ridiculous stuff. So I think we sideboarded good. It was the deck that I was expecting. But my keep a five lander and draw a lot of spells, including, you know, expensive spells, plan, did not work at all. Did not work at all. All right, let me just get the duresses in. <laughs> That, that We had a, a giant flaw in that plan, and that was the draw spells part of that plan. <laughs> Gutter Bones is going to be our turn one play. <laughs> yeah, we could, we could just cut it down to zero lands, and then we... We would never be flooded. What are we thinking? Should be doing that. So cost four, five, five, three, four. So, I mean, enter the like these enter the God Eternals are like the better card. Hey, Fabish. Welcome to the channel, sub number 11 on the day. Hmm. We'll take the card that kills something and Let's them find a land. Now I kind of wish I would have taken the one of these Enter the God Eternals if I knew I was going to just have another one of those. Keeping the Celebrant in hand to discard to a Bolus. Yeah, if you'd like a, a donation deck, lots of information in the info panel down below. Yeah, just go to the info panel. There's a huge section about getting donation decks. Like, you know, sign up for a donation deck. Remember last game when we had, you know, like 47 lands? Wouldn't it be nice to draw a third one?
Hooray! Gleaming Overseer and Enter the God Eternals. Those cards are really good against aggro. They're like Grixis anti-aggro, basically. All right, Judith down. They're at seven or six. Yeah, so they're at six. Another Dreadhorde Butcher trigger. So I think we, so we have like Bolus covered. Oh. No cry the carnarium there, so they they gotta have they gotta have contempt, right? Isn't it just contempt? I don't know. All right, four and three. Let's play one more match. One more match. Should I play the final boss playlist? Nah. Nah. No, I think our opponent was still dead through craving, I think. I don't remember now. I think they were still dead through craving. Versus number eight. I don't think I've played anybody with a number yet. Eight's a pretty big number. Or a pretty small number, I guess. That's what I mean. It's a singular number. Alright, come on, two drop. Two drop. Two drop. Two drop. Two drop. Hooray, two drop. Two drop. The problem here, of course, is we need our creatures to die to be able to trigger them without 
creatures dying, our opponent's just gonna be outracing us. Well, I guess before we played Midnight Reaper. If his moment of craving on the butcher would have reduced the butcher's power and they would have stayed alive. Gotcha. I can't really imagine us losing from here now. We'll see. So yeah, if a, if a creature dies, <laughs> we get to drain for three. And I feel like they're going to have to block something eventually. Like, next turn. I am not shock I'm not shocking with this Godless Shrine. So we'll just wait on the Lava Coil. Yeah, that was kind of an odd keep. Keeping a one-lander where they don't have Curious Obsession. Alright, what is good? Definitely want duress. Hey, Roarork, welcome back for the second month in a row. You are amazing. Thank you very much. All right, so that is sub number 12 on the day. Okay, you are in the way. Um... So Oath of Kai and Deafening Clarion seem like they could be okay. Usually Midnight Reaper is the kind of card that I take out here because creatures don't die very much and it costs three mana. But maybe I just don't want these Ajani's or Sorens. Maybe I just want to like turn off like Spell Pierce. Just get these things out of here. And just try to go with the creatures. And a little bit of removal. If I'm doing that, I can probably cut a land. Yeah, let's play a Clarion. And cut a land. Kaya is great. Kaya's Oath? Oath of Kaya? I mean, if they have Dive Down, you don't gain the life, right? Ooh. Double Dreadhorde Butcher? Yes, please. Oh man, Priest of Forgotten Gods? Yes, please. No, I haven't uh, played Bantu in the deck. Talked about Bantu a little bit at the beginning of the video. Not, not too big a fan of it. I like just being uh, much more aggressive. Let's get this priest in play. Thank you. No, not you. You.
They don't really have like the removal that I need to worry about like not attacking with priests kind of thing. So we gotta have Trickster, maybe even two Tricksters. So what do I do against Trickster? I could see just letting the trickster trade with something and not actually activating priest. Let's keep red mana up. Let's draw some cards. Yeah, Mardu deck's good. Yeah, Mardu deck's good. All right, we are now 90, 99% mythic. Not 100% yet. We're not sure if we're mythic or not. All right, so that was our our uh, first try at Mardu Aristocrats. Um, Yeah, so we played against a lot of removal heavy decks where Priest of Forgotten Gods didn't look so good. Um, you know, there we got to play against a creature deck where Priest was awesome. Um, our, my sideboard is still just kind of like I like the main deck. I honestly like pretty much like the main deck, and and I think I I think I like the Coil and Mortify more than the Lightning Strikes. I think that's a a good change there. Um, the sideboard is still just like a work in progress. You know, I. I like Duress, and I like Oath of Kaya. And who knows with the, all the other cards. It's still just like a work of progress of trying stuff out and seeing seeing what we want. Um, but, yeah. So it went 5-3. Uh, had a lot of mana trouble. You know, like we had a, a ton of games where we were just really flooded out. Kind of stuff for our losses. Our, our deck felt really, really powerful. And I think Mardu Aristocrats is... I certainly think this is a real deck... Um, unlike last format, again, these two drops that we have, Cruel Celebrant and, and Dreadhorde Butcher, are awesome. Like, especially Dreadhorde Butcher was just, that card was really, really impressive for us that whole time. Um, yeah, this was definitely one of our better cards. And Soren is really good, too. Um, so this is a real deck. 
Footlight Fiend? I'm not sold on Footlight Fiend, honestly. I really could see Fanatical Firebrand being better. Footlight Fiend is a lot better when you're activating Priest of Forgotten Gods. But if you move away from Priest of Forgotten Gods, I could certainly see Fanatical Firebrand being better. There was, there was a couple of games where, you know, like we were playing Fiend and, and talking about... Uh, where fire, like Firebrand would have been lethal one of the games where we did kill our opponent the next turn anyway. Um, but, you know, like the the haste damage would have been lethal. There was like other times where, you know, we had a Fiend in hand, but we couldn't kill like a Nicol Bolas, uh, where if we had a, a Firebrand, like after after blockers, where if we had a, a Firebrand, we would have been able to kill Nicol Bolas and would have really helped us out. Um, I think that, that game we lost where Firebrand, we would have won. I could certainly see that. Basically, the, the only reason to play Fiend instead is because of Priest. And also because it's easier to cast. That's that's the other that's the other big thing. Footlight Fiend, you know, you can have black, you can have red. It's very easy to cast. Firebrand's a little harder to cast, but <clears throat> with Cruel Celebrant out, you know, just being able to sacrifice your creatures at will is really nice. Obviously, with Judith, you know, with Judith and Celebrant, you can pair them up. This can, this is basically um, Lightning Strike if you have a Celebrant and a Judith in play. Um, upstairs, basically. Uh, yeah. I'm not playing anything in, in place of Priest. I'm I'm playing Priests. I, I still like Priest. Um, other options are Tithe Taker and Remadi Reveler for the two-mana slot. Um, I could see playing one Pitiless Pontiff. Not sold on that, though. But Pitiless Pontiff's another option. You want to play hero instead of priest? Hero of precinct one would trigger off most of the cards. Wouldn't trigger off uh, eleven cards, twelve cards plus the twenty-four lands, thirty-six plus the other four forty. So it would trigger off twenty cards. It's an option. I I'm a big fan of priest. Gruesome Menagerie is is really cool. Um, I just it's just five mana, and I don't think it's really better than the Planeswalkers, because there there are a good amount of games where you just don't have don't have like the creatures. You know, like we don't. You know, we ba we're basically at so we're at eight twelve eight. <clears throat> I mean, Gr Gruesome Menagerie has a huge upside, but it it has a really big downside. And at being five mana, I don't. I just like the all the Planeswalkers that are available instead. So yeah, still still have some tuning to do with this deck, especially sideboard. Um, and then like Priest and Footlight Fiend are some different options of maybe have them, maybe don't. But all right. Um, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, thanks for watching.